It's not too often you get to talk to a National Player of the Week, and senior wide receiver Dante Sawyer has joined us. He was named the National Kick Returner of the Week by two different media outlets after a 94-yard kick return for a touchdown last week against Campbell. Also the Pioneer Football League Special Teams Player of the Week, and Dante, as always, we appreciate your time. Let's jump right in. The 94-yard kick return, you took it to the house. Uh, just what do you remember about that play in terms of guys who gave you blocks? And I know you put a couple stiff arms out there, too, to, to uh, evade some tacklers. Yeah, I mean, we had a plan drawn up all week of how we was going to return it, and it just worked out exactly how we drew it. You know, I got some good blocks from Yost and Luke Keller, you know. I just wanted to get in my way to the end zone, so and I got there. Dante, obviously you're a team guy. You're pretty humble with your individual accomplishments, but uh, being named one of the top players uh, in the football championship subdivision for at least that week, just talk about that honor and what it means to you personally. It's a good personal goal. You know, you always want to try to be the best at something. So I, mean, I guess it's, to be, it's good to be the best for a week. You've had a terrific senior campaign. You're a senior wide receiver from Ackworth, Georgia, and you have uh, found your way into the record book for career receptions, career receiving yards, and, and receiving touchdowns. That actually happened late in your junior campaign. But just talk about how you're feeling out there on the field. You've put up some good numbers this year and uh, helped the team to some success. Uh, it feels good. You know, it's a good personal goal. You know, I don't like to pat myself on the back, but I work pretty hard. And I definitely couldn't have did it without Zach and, and the old line. So you know, I just give good props to them. The offensive line was named uh, National Offensive Line of the Week. Uh, you've got a lot of veteran guys there, Josh Bruner, uh, Calvin Harrington, Joey Clegg, Eric Madison, and Alex Hay are the starters on the line. And you talked about your fourth-year quarterback, uh, Zach Lewis. Just talk about the chemistry you guys have built as an offensive unit. The, the offensive side of the ball is the more experienced of the two this year, and you guys have seemed to be in a pretty good rhythm at various points this season. Yeah, no, we, we're just clicking right now, you know. Sometimes we can just tell what another person thinking or doing or how they're going to run this route or saying how he going to block this guy. So, I don't know, we're just clicking right now. It's, it's good. The 70-28 to 28 victory over Campbell last Saturday at Jane Stadium was the biggest win of the season by far. What, in your mind, was the difference, uh, especially in the second half when your team really pulled away from the Camels? Uh, we just kept making plays. Like, anybody who got in there was making plays. Sai, Shade, you know, Brandon, Blake. Blake had a big day. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just made plays, and... It just helped us out. Obviously, you don't want to tip your hand in terms of X's and O's for the this week's opponent, Davidson, back at Jane Stadium here in Moorhead. But just kind of your thoughts on the Wildcats. Uh, I believe that was a pretty tight game last year. Unfortunately, the Eagles falling on the road. But I know you guys would like to get back in the win column and get a little momentum going here. Yeah, of course we want to win. I'm saying it'll be us two years in a row, so can't let them beat us this time. You know, they do – exactly what we do for real. You know, they like to throw the ball. They got a, a good receiver as well, and they want to get him the ball, so he's got to stop that. Dante, obviously you don't want to uh, be thinking about this right now, but your senior season is winding down. You've had a very uh, solid career here at Moorhead State, both individually and the team has had some success in your four years uh, on the field. Just kind of what pops into your mind in terms of the relationships and the experience that you've had here at Moorhead State as a football player? You know, you never forget your college days. It's like you never forget your high school days. Uh, you know, I only got three games left. It's sad, but you know, that's life. You just got to move on. And you know, I appreciate everybody that I met and came in contact with here. You know, and I have some friends forever for me. Talk a little bit about the coaching staff that you've been working with uh, throughout your college career. Matt Ballard is in his 19th season as the head coach here, and I know you've struck up some good relationships with your position coaches, Rob Tenure, the offensive coordinator and uh, Thomas Duffer Duffy, the, the wide receivers coach. Just talk about maybe those three guys and kind of what they've meant to you on a personal level. And coach Ballard, he's a cool guy. You know, he gets, some use, gets used to get used to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, he, he's old-fashioned. He like to do certain things, but he's a good person. He got a good soul, you know what I'm saying? Co coach Tenure, he's a good person too, you know. He took over the offense last year, so, you know, we did good. I appreciate everything he's done. Coach Duffy. He's cool, man. It's a receiver coach. So it's, you know, it's like one of my best friends. You know, we get along well. Uh, couldn't ask for no more coaches. I just, I, know, I love and appreciate him. Obviously, three games remaining on the regular season slate this year. Uh, Davidson at home, a road trip to San Diego, and then the home finale against Valparaiso. I guess the easy answer would be three wins, but any specific goals or thoughts on, on those final three games? 
I just want to win these last three games. I mean, go out my senior year with four straight wins. I know the rest of the seniors do too, so I'm just going to try to work hard for that. There's three weeks left. I mean, this could be your last time ever playing football again, so we just want to, just want to win. Dante, we talked to you at the beginning of the season on camera just about your personal goals and your career goals after college. And I think you mentioned possibly getting into some teaching or working with younger people. I know that you have some aspirations to coach football, too, either at the high school or college level, if you could just kind of expand on that and maybe what's popping into your mind uh, in terms of after college. After college, you know, I'm going to try this football thing. But I do want to be a coach. I want to get into coaching, you know, help players become the best they could possibly be in it. That's really all I want to do. And you're wrapping up a, a semester-long internship in the Moorhead State Athletic Department. I know you've done uh, various tasks for Richard Fletcher and Turk Wendell and some other people in that department. Just kind of your thoughts looking back at that experience and maybe something that you learned. That's a good experience, you know. Just learn how to be more of a, a businessman person, how to make relations with people. So, you know, I like that. I appreciate them for everything they've done for me, too, and, and just let me be here with them all semester. That's number one on the field, senior wide receiver Dante Sawyer. Dante, best of luck to you and the Eagles, and we thank you for your time. Appreciate it.